I play to fly abroad and I won't take my second screen, so I decided to take my Quest 3, but before that I bought Virtual Desktop. This is a uh, paid app, but a fantastic one that allows you to have different settings to control the Virtual Desktop experience to your liking. So because I'm going to game a lot, uh, when I'm abroad I wanted to see how good is actually gaming uh, with uh, on PC. Again, we're talking about PC with this remote desktop app. Again, on the Quest 3. So first of all, I wanted to, to have it in mixed reality. I don't have to, but it would be nice. So basically, I launched a game using the uh, virtual desktop streamer app on the PC. I make sure the LAN is connected because I wanted uh, the best quality and no lag. I mean, the least lag is possible. At least check it out. And here we go. So you're playing No Race for the Wicked with the controller, with the Xbox controller. And oh my god, actually how I actually check that, you know, the lag, first of all, just checking it out and it feels that it's working pretty as expected. But what I did, I kind of, uh, you know, I, I moved the headset a bit, just look down on the screen. I can actually look if I remove my head a bit upwards, I can look down and actually can see both of them, both the image that I see, the virtual screen and my real screen and see if I can actually see any difference. Look and behold, I haven't noticed any difference. This means that what I can see here and play is basically uh, feels like real time. The same as I'm actually playing on a regular display. In terms of visual, when it comes to gaming, it's absolutely fantastic. Looks amazing. Super clear, colorful, looks great. This is of course changing colors compared to how we see it uh, with the regular display. But again, this is expected of course, based on the uh, way that they uh, screen, the inner screen of the Quest is actually calibrated. If you're using, for example, VR, if you increase the bitrate, it can le lead to um, higher latency as well. So this is something to keep in mind. So I thought maybe I'm going to spend some time tweaking the setting, try to get the best latency, but it works great. I did notice some, uh, uh, it looks like, you know, um, kind of white things that appear quickly, very, very quickly, like a few milliseconds disappear. Um, if you know the cause of it, let me know. Uh, I didn't know how to actually eliminate it. It wasn't distracting, but it was there here and there. Uh, but overall, again, the image quality was fantastic. So then I know that I can actually use the Quest 3 uh, connected to the PC uh, and it will work flawlessly. Now, because the virtual screen, I can actually, of course, you can actually see, by the way, how it's like having a curved display. How do you know? Well, just try it out with virtual desktop. You can have a curved display and by the way it's a huge difference i haven't had a curved display before but just trying this one out uh, i know the reason why people prefer uh some people <laughs> prefer uh having a curved display it's just a better experience uh overall i mean i don't need to move my head a lot compared to if it wasn't a curved display and you can position everywhere you like you can just lie and, and position the screen uh so you can easily even play while you're actually lying well all the benefits of having a screen virtual and not real, uh, a real one, physical one. So again, this is just my initial uh, test and I can see that it can, it can work. Of course, I need to have good uh, internet bandwidth there. If not, I still have the option to tweak it, right? I can reduce uh, the bit rate if I want to uh, or you know, change it with the settings if I play a VR game or just a regular game and tweak it out so we can, it will actually work fine. So oh, every now and then I'm just lifting my head to look at the screen and then try to see both of the images and see if there is a lag. Really, I didn't notice. I, I If I noticed something, it, I would tell you, but really it just was completely parallel without any difference. And I was I was pretty shocked uh, when I saw it. I'm not talking about what you see here. I'm talking about really kind of uh, looking down inside my headset so I actually see my real screen, not my real screen here, like you see here through the screen of the Quest. So bottom line, based on my initial testing, you can achieve uh, uh, low latency, uh, lag free gaming with a virtual screen connected to your PC uh, with the Quest 3 and it just works great. So if you have any question, you want me to test anything, let me know in the comment section below. I'll be more, you know, a bit smarter once I uh, be abroad and try out in different well, situations that I wouldn't otherwise because I have fast broadband connection here and I can use LAN. We see how it goes uh, in different other situations, maybe it won't work at all. Or wouldn't work as well. We need to wait and see. And that's for this video. Thanks for watching.